I have a corona hangover. Brought to you by the Office of Health Promotion. A hangover is a group of unpleasant signs and symptoms that can develop after drinking too much alcohol. Frequent hangovers are associated with poor performance and conflicts at work or school. The more alcohol you drink, the more likely you are to have a hangover the next day. There is no magic formula to tell you how much you can safely drink and still avoid a hangover. Just like unhealthy drinking habits can lead to a hangover, consuming too much news around COVID-19 can lead you to a hangover as well. And just like there is no magic amount of alcohol you can safely drink to avoid a hangover, there is no magic amount of news you can consume to avoid this type of hangover. One can see how trying to stay informed, yet not being overwhelmed, can quickly become a challenge. There are similarities between a COVID-19 hangover and an alcohol-related hangover, like fatigue and weakness, excessive thirst and dry mouth, headaches and muscle aches, poor or decreased sleep, decreased ability to concentrate, and mood disturbances such as depression, anxiety, and irritability. The first being fatigue and weakness. It is difficult to turn on the television or be on social media and not see something associated with corona. While it has only been a couple of weeks for most of us, having to transition to work remotely, we find that we are already quickly becoming fatigued by the subject. How do I manage this? I'm glad you asked. Find something that gives you energy. Find something to change your focus. Consider learning something new when there is free time and not participate in mindless activities. There is an excessive thirst for something different during this time. While most of us enjoy routine and flourish in such, during this time, finding a routine can be a challenge. So, don't let the day happen to you. Be intentional and set goals for the day, along with quenching the thirst for fun. Laughter is medicine for the soul. Find a way and a reason to laugh. When we are talking about hangovers, headaches and muscle aches are often a function of dehydration, among other things. As with alcohol, it is important to stay hydrated during this time and get the proper rest. I personally drink more water when I'm at work than when I'm at home on the weekends. Make sure you stay hydrated. Poor or decreased sleep. Sleep is when our body restores and repairs. Sleep also provides energy to our brain and body. Sleep can also balance our appetites. When we are sleep deprived, we may be prone to eating more or stress eat, which can lead to weight gain. Most importantly, during these times, proper sleep can boost your immune response. Many people struggle in this area already. This may be the opportune time to establish a sleep schedule and improve your sleep habits. A lot of change at once can be overwhelming, which can decrease our ability to concentrate. There are already many things that can distract us, including social media alerts, noisy environments, ringing phones, and the wandering mind. These, in addition to concerns around Corona, I miss hanging out with my friends. Will I graduate? My family member works in the healthcare setting. Will they be all right? All of this can leave you totally distracted. The challenge is to focus on what you can control and not be overwhelmed by the things you cannot. During this time, mood disturbances can occur. Please visit our videos on cabin fever to see tips on managing being isolated or in long periods of confinement. The Counseling Center also has resources on managing your mental wellness during this time on their page. And there is Silver Cloud, which is an excellent resource you can use. If these resources don't help or your symptoms are severe, do not hesitate to reach out to your local health professional for assistance. 
Ultimately, to decrease your chances of getting a corona hangover, you must be intentional about self-care. Here are some tips from Kelly Crace and colleagues' authentic, excellent work. Number one, verbal expression and social support. Talking with someone you trust is a healthy form of self-care. Venting to someone we trust can help us tolerate distress. Two, physical expression. Converting out emotional energy to physical expression can be a form of coping. This can be in the form of exercise, progressive muscle relaxation, active breathing, and the like. Three, creative expression. Converting our emotional energy to some form of creative expression is a helpful form of self-care. Wednesdays at noon, join the Creative Arts Wellness class with Sarah de Bellagio. Meditative expression. This form of expression can foster acceptance of our current state and temporary nature of challenging emotions. Visit our virtual wellness page to find meditation videos. And number five, what else is true? When we are coping with an emotional storm, we tend to see everything through our emotional filter. Reminding ourselves that there is a bigger picture to our current situation and identifying specific things about our life and our world that are also true can help us cope. Corona can give you a hangover, especially if you consume too much. The less you drink, the less likely you are to have a hangover. It will help to eat and sleep. Choose carefully what you consume. Drink water. Stay hydrated. Know your limits. While you want to stay informed, don't overindulge. Take it one day at a time. No one knows or can control when this will end. Stay in the moment. Again, if symptoms are severe, Please seek professional assistance. Continue to look out for more videos and classes from the William & Mary Health & Wellness team. Download our wellness app and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.